Greetings and salutations, folks. My name's Nick, and welcome back to Coffee Talk, Episode 2, Butterfly and Hibiscus, where it is Friday, September 22nd, in the game. Let us check, before we jump into the story and find out what happens next, let us, uh, let's check out the Tomato Show. Let's see what the social medias are like. That's yeah, Rachel, our favorite pop star Neko-chan, who I would imagine, considering the fact that she's highlighted today, is basically a sneak peek in the fact that she's going to be the character of the day. Let's see, Lucas. Do you think a satyr, a satyr, how do you, do you think a satyr would look good with leg tattoos? Asking for a friend and not for me at all. Considering that a satyr's legs are hairy. I don't even know if that's possible. Mr. Hyde just watched this movie about vampire calling themselves vegan by drinking animal blood. Tried it once, it was neither satisfying nor fulfilling. Synthetic is better. How very true blood of you. And or Morbius. Also, a vampire getting pregnant? Amusing! Um, I think that pretty, like, both of, like, the first one kind of hints at the fact that they're talking about, um, Twilight. The second one goes all the way. Working on something? Curious? Hee <laughs> hee. No, I do not care about your vague tweets about nothing. Cars down. We'll resume deliveries tomorrow. What do you deliver? Are you like an Uber driver? Is that what you do? This rainy season sure is something. Oh, how are you feeling, Miss Rachel? Oh, that was fast. As good as I can be. Now, that I'm going... Like, Rachel, I, I'm aiming for California... Like, California Barbie girl. So, Rachel... Or maybe... Maybe that's the wrong description. Maybe the right description is, like... Peppy... I guess pop star girl is the best I got. So Rachel, pop star girl voice. Because she is in fact a pop star girl. Nihan! What is it? Oh, nothing. I think I'll never get used to seeing a Neko Mimi transformation is all. In a good way or bad way? In a good way, of course. It's quite magical. Thanks. So do you need anything? A towel, perhaps? No. Have I met Lua yet? Yes. I would literally go to the office every day in a wedding dress if only the skanks in HR would allow it. Frickin' HR skanks holding her back. So... <laughs> it was pouring outside when you came in. Huh. Do you have a hairdryer? A hair dryer. No, unfortunately, we do not. Then, nope, I'm good. You sure? Ah, barista, a little rain won't hurt me. Yeah, okay. 
Pop Star Girl, Peppy. Slightly California ish. Slight Cali. There we go. I'll be fine. All right, if you say so. Hey, now I'm no longer a kid, okay? Nothing says you're no longer a kid than that face. No longer a kid, okay, man? It's been three years already. I aged too, you know. Uh, it has nothing to do with that at all. The last thing I want is for a star to get ill because of poor service here. Then you just have to treat me real nice. How about making me a special drink? A special drink? What do you have in mind? Something milky. And slightly sweet. And some brightness to negate this gloomy weather. Uh, I don't think I've landed her voice just yet. Let's cross all that off. Let's let's throw all of that into the garbage. How about higher up, higher pitched, a little airy? Let's see if we can make that stick. As in flavor or color? Up, up to you. Oh man, that's worse. Oof. That, 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 that is absolutely worse. I mean, different colors usually have different effects, right? All right, I'll try. Yay. Oh, and no coffee, please. Can you summarize your order for me? A colorful non-coffee latte with honey, please. Hmm. Hmm. Should I? Of course I should shave my fur. How can you see the tat otherwise? Exactly, that's what I'm saying, Lucas. It wouldn't really work because of that, because you, you got all that fur in the way. Um, all right. A non-coffee latte with honey. So that means, let's try the blue pea milk honey. Let's see what pops out. We can always trash it. Dreamin' blue. You know, let's go with that. And then let's let's try to re reproduce the art in uh in the image. Well, pretty terrible. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, then. One dreamy latte coming up. Wow. What's this? It looks interesting. Ooh, okay. Now I think I got it. Just Cali Girl. It's a butterfly pea latte with honey. A new recipe. A new recipe. Bonus points if you know the reference. We call it Dreamin' Blue. Hmm. All right, then I'm going to give it a try. Interesting. I guess she liked it. Uh, birthday is 29th of February. Contact Rachel dot at, at X dot com for business inquiries. This mesmerizing and earthly latte imbues you with calmness and serenity on sight. Dream in blue. How do you like it? It isn't what I expected at all, for sure. While it doesn't taste as bright as I wanted, the color sure is interesting. I mean, it's blue. 
What does that even mean, though? Dream in blue. Dreaming blue, as in sadness? Dream in blue, as in color. Or dreaming in ambiguous blue. Whatever you think or feel about it is correct. That sounds ambiguous to me. Hmm. It's mild, earthy, yet surreal while still being comforting. That's not so bad. Dream in blue, eh? At any rate, has it really been that long already? My last visit here was probably over a year ago, wasn't it? I believe so. It was around that time the time your images started to appear on buses. Right. Things just took off, and suddenly I had no more free time. How are you hanging? Busy, but it's good. Great, even. A lot is happening, actually. Yeah? Like, I've been busy shooting new music videos and such. A lot of photo shoots, too. I'm also set to appear on several shows and podcasts, and... Oh, I'm creating a new single! Oh, is that so? Uh-huh. That's great news, congrat... Nope. Don't congratulate me yet. Oops, okay, okay. Are you trying to hold back on, like, the celebration until after the work is done? Which is very responsible. I'm still uh, in the process of making it. Let's hold back the celebration until it's done. If you start to celebrate too soon, suddenly the celebration overtakes the act of creation. In more ways than one. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm actually creating the song this time. Wow. Wow. And I'll be collabing with AJ. Wait a second. You mean... The guy who's always on your playlist, Aramie Gendru. That's really cool. I know, I'm excited. Can't wait to hear it. I also had no idea you made songs. <laughs> I know I don't look it like it, but truthfully, from the time I was a kid, it's always been a dream of mine. Writing songs and dancing. More specifically, singing and dancing to my own songs. On one Nico Mimi pop-up concert. A pop-up concert? You know, a concert that pops up randomly? You see, it happens sometimes in malls or in a popular busy street because that's what people want when they're on a busy street and there are way too many people. Nico Mimi concert. Ah, yes, I see what you mean. You miss it and poof, it's gone leaving only memories of a one-of-a-kind show with a one-of-a-kind experience. Sounds rather exciting. Right? I guess I've always loved being on stage. But you know, we all wanted to become everything when we were kids. Actually, when I was a kid, all I wanted to do was sit around and play video games for hours upon hours on end. Now... I don't think I don't think I reach that that amount. I still want to play video games, but I I'm nowhere near the uh, the amount per game at a time. I want to do other things. I want to live. But as you grow up, you have to pick your battles. And for me, singing and dancing just come much more naturally than creating my own music. Also, you might have more practice. Ah, at least until now, I thought to myself, if I can't do it alone, then I'll make it with someone who definitely knows what they're doing. You definitely chose the right guy. Right? I'm taking in fresh inspiration, even now. Who knows, maybe I'll get inspired from your drinks, too. But I'm so excited you can't believe. And so keep an eye out for it, okay? Whenever it's out, I mean. Will do. Ah. Huh? I knew it. A blackout? Yeah. It happened before, huh? Only when the weather gets this bad. Give me a quick second, please. I'll turn on the generator. Okay. 
Also, why didn't I turn turn on the generator like a couple days ago? <laughs> oh, who is stepping inside? It's her. It's the banshee. Kia. Cute. Oh, Miss Riona, welcome. Hello. Sorry about my absence earlier. I was just turning on the generator. <coughs> Miss Rachel, is everything all right? Yep. I was just surprised by the thunder for a second there. Yeah, well, everything should hold on for now. Okay. Happy to see you again, Miss Riona. How are you feeling tonight? Honestly, not the best. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you make something nice with a bit of sweetness? Of course, anything you want. I recall last time you suggested an interesting drink to me. Something with blue tea and milk. That's about right. Could you please prepare that for me? But make it ever so slightly sweeter this time. It's been quite a day. I think I deserve the sugar. Roger that. I have just the perfect drink for you. And... Okay. Then... A blue latte with a hint of sweetness, please. Alright. Let us actually save the game. And if I screw up, I could just load my save. And you find out if you screw up really quick. So, blue pea. Except now we're going to go for the sweetness first. As that first ingredient. And then milk as the second ingredient. Because I think what I did last time was I did milk the first ingredient and then honey the second ingredient. Ah, okay. You know, I'm not even going to ruin that with my latte art. That looks beautiful. That blue marshmallow. Uh, uh, uh. Oops, I should have given this. Is this it? Pardon for the mistake. Two achievements for doing that. Blue Marshmallow, a comforting herbal tea that soothes the spirits of upset children and stumped grown-ups alike. Okay, here you go, miss. Thank you. Um, is something the matter? This is not what I ordered, is it? It is blue, but everything else is incorrect. Oh, I'm really sorry. I must have missed it somehow. I see. Let me remake it for you. No need. I'll take it. Perhaps it is just part of the negative energy I must deal with today. I'm sorry. Wait, so what happened to the thing that I made? What happened to the... I'm confused. Anything else you need? Alright, let's see what updated. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, he was the, um... He was like the werewolf or the wolf bodyguard. So who else got unlocked? I'm con... Alright, let, let's just carry on. Or... No, they're in the stories. Aqua. What voice did I give her? I just saw a little kid and her mom walking hand in hand. It made me feel so warm in my chest. I guess I'm calling my mom tonight. Mother's Day is not for another two days or so. Relax, Aqua. You can call her on 
on Sunday when it's Mother's Day. No, it's it's fine. Thank you. Just just one of those days. I suppose. It's one of those moments when it seems like everything is collapsing simultaneously. Not necessarily great by any means. I know how that feels. Want to talk about it? Rachel is feeling generous today. Rachel talks about herself in the third person. Ah, so many people. Good evening. Ah! Oh my, of course. Doctor! Long time no see. He still is covered in so many bandages. Hey, Rachel. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Gala. Gruff. Rough. Tough. Hopefully that description is memorable to me. Still a hospital admissions officer here. I know, I'm just kidding. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Hey, barista. I'm just here for a quick drink before I get to work. Uh, that doesn't that doesn't fit him. Okay, I've been looking for somebody to give uh, an I Irish sounding voice to. So he is getting it. But it looks like I'll have to take a breather first. I'll have to agree. Please make yourself at home. So you are saying Hmm The lady and I were in the middle of a conversation. We were. Maybe at the beginning of one? I'll back off if I'm being too nosy, though. I'm just very happy today. I see. Should I move over there? No, you're fine. I'm curious about how you've been doing, too. But gotta keep the momentum with sister over there. Alright, then please don't mind me. This reminds me strongly of my very first visit here. Hmm? To be frank, this may be the place where people ask me the most questions. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not sure yet, but I do not mind it too much. I think that the hardest part I have in regards to my attempt at voice acting, I'll just call it that, is any time a character just says, hmm, like, trying to imitate that voice, from what I hear, like, when it, when it, whenever voice actors are, like, doing screams, like, for, like, falling or death screams, that kind of thing, that's where you hear their actual voice the most. Like, where the, the accent and the attempt to uh, imitate this or create this other voice almost kind of loses itself. Truthfully, I do not interact with many people on a daily basis, since I'm on the road most of the time. Is that so? And what do you do for a living if you don't mind me asking? I'm a Groover driver. There we go. Not an Uber driver, a Groover driver. But I only do inner-city deliveries. Mostly. Sounds tough. It's not as bad as it sounds. I quite enjoy driving. It helps clear the mind sometimes. Right. That's true. I drove a cab in Manhattan back in the early 60s. You did? Yes, but I had to stop after a few months since it got pretty dangerous. Dangerous? How? Because people kept trying to pick a fight with me. Oh. I also had a few people trying to skip paying fares or rob me. It sounds terrifying and dangerous. 
Well, it was back in the early 60s. People weren't as kind to us as they are now. But I get why you like driving. I always enjoyed the long drive back and forth from the airports. I see. Prior to focusing exclusively on delivery, I used to accept passengers as well. Oh? Why the change? Because 7 out of 10 passengers would cancel on me. Usually right after they entered my car as well. Which resulted in my suspension. Is it because of Banshee prejudice? What? Why? Because I terrify them. Ah. Uh, that's just rude. I agree with Miss Rachel. It sounds so unreasonable. Like, if she's driving you to a place, just leaving the vehicle because of her appearance. I must admit, I looked significantly different back then. It was because I never had to deal with so many people before. I was living in seclusion, far away from big cities up until that point. And so during the appeal period, I attempted to make myself appear a little less frightening. In the meantime, I was permitted to make deliveries. Right. It turns out that I enjoy doing deliveries much more than I expected. So I rescinded my appeal. Additionally, the schedule of flexibility allows me to focus more on my training and auditions. Did you say auditions? For what? Um... I've been auditioning for a soprano role. Really? That sounds cool. No, it's... No. It's not cool at all. Why do you see that? I've tried for years and have yet to land one single roll. Oh. I also lost air pressure in one of my tires. By the way, is this the vandal? The vandalism that's going on right now? That's uh, flattening tires and stealing drive cores? Yes. The officer already warned us about it too. However, I'm not quite sure if it's related to his case or if it's just... Because, like, they flattened all of Officer Georgie's tires and stole his drive cores. If they only flatten one tire... I'll let Officer Georgie know about it when he comes in. Thank you. So, yes, not a good day. I'm sorry to hear that. It's fine. I'm used to it. Oh. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just going to check my messages. Um, okay. It's nice to see you again, Rachel. Oh, same. You must have been busy. I haven't seen you around here in a while. How's Hendry? Uh, Dad's fine. He's been pretty busy, too. Not as busy as you, it seems. I've seen him here at least every month or so. Really, Barista? He won't let me stay out late on my break, yet he comes here to see all of you. Uh, oh, uh mm, mm, well, uh, just kidding. I know he comes here often. It's fine. He's old. He needs breaks more than me. Right. Being able to unwind becomes more important as you get older. Be sure he gets his yearly checkups, though. Will do. So what's up with you these days? Not a lot, but uh... I have a small problem at work, actually. Yeah? What is it? Well, as the person who handles patient admissions, I have to handle really young kids sometimes. We're not a children's hospital, so they usually come in as urgent cases. Oh... That's why I tried to make the admission process as painless as possible. As possible. Just to make things a little easier for everyone involved. Yeah. Sadly, kids tend to get scared of me. Which makes expediting their admissions more difficult sometimes. But you're like one of the nicest guys I know. Well, they're usually really, really young. Do you know what makes them so afraid of you? Is it because you're seven feet tall and covered in bandages? 
Not exactly. But I think my size has something to do with it. I still tower over them whenever, even when I get down to their eye level. They probably feel vulnerable too. Yeah, I see what you mean. Not exactly what you'd call a great combo. Not at all. Again, it's not a big deal. I'm just wondering if there's anything I can do about it. Ah. Hey, Barista. Yes? Didn't realize it was already this late. Seems like I'll have to go soon. Can I order now? Of course. What will it be? I'll have my usual. A mix of tea, milk, and ginger. Oh, thank you for telling me exactly what you want. Tea, milk, and... Oh yeah, he had a specific thing going on in the first game. Like, he was looking for a specific drink that would calm him from turning into a werewolf. And I think he eventually discovered that this was the mixture. Galahad. Galahad. Gala has had this drink. Now we can look at his profile in deeper detail. Birthday, the 13th of September. Not a bad day to have a birthday. Almost the perfect day, I would say. Almost. Galahad, a ginger chai latte. Good to calm and warm your nerves. Would you want your nerves warmed? Is that a thing that you would want? A special drink just for you, sir. Made in a jiffy without compromising quality. Thanks. It's great as usual. I can't seem to make it like you do. But it still works, right? At least for the intended purpose. It does. I'm just saying, yours is still the best taste-wise. What is it anyway? Ginger latte? It's closer to ginger milk tea, I think. What Barista said. Either way, I've come to like it as my late-night shift drink of choice, since I'm trying to cut back on my caffeine intake. For health reasons? Pretty much, yeah. I find myself better at controlling my fury that way. Ah, I see. That's good to know. I guess I'll have to rely on you in my adventure into the world of trade drinking. You can count on me. I should leave before the storm gets worse. Oh. Next time, we'll catch up. Okay. Alright. Sorry to leave in the middle of the conversation. Hang in there, it always gets better. Thank you. Have a safe trip. See ya. Um, Riona, isn't it? I'm sorry to hear about the auditions. Trust me, I really get how you're feeling right now. Yes? Uh-huh. I've been rejected by agencies many times too, before I finally made it into my previous group. Uh, Miss Rachel here is an idol. Her single is on the shelves behind you. Oh! That's amazing! Thanks. Do you have a reel up online somewhere? We might be playing on a different field, but I'd love to see it. I took it down a long time ago. Just disable comments. So the issue that she had was that people were making terrible comments on her video. Just disable the comments. If nobody wants to participate, in the discussion of her singing. Like, disable the comments, and you could still use it as reference material. But also, like, I can understand why you take it down because of the comments, is because you feel pride in regards to the creation of the thing. And then it also feels like if so many people just dislike or are sending this negative energy, like, why did you even create it in the first place? I had to deal with a lot of online harassment. Therefore, I removed it to save myself some headaches. What? People are unbelievable. 
Don't mind the haters. They're just people who have nothing better to do. Right. I suppose you must have dealt with similar things before. Plenty. It comes with the fame. For better or worse. I see. Anyway, you should keep it up. Maybe I can ask my colleagues if they know many audition leads if you link me a reel. Are you sure? Yep. I mean, no promises, but I'll try. Um, I have a video if you want to see it. Of course. Let me move over there then. A video of Riona singing. Wow. I might not get opera, but that was pretty nice. It'd be great if you posted more of these online. What do you mean? You have this... Hmm, je ne sais quoi thing going on. Why am I keep doing Italian fingers for everything? An unusualness that may captivate some people. Oh, I know. You should upload your stuff on Tam Tamachil. I bet many people will love it. Oh, it's all right. Huh, what's wrong? I don't think I'm cut out to have any presence online. I don't fit in with the culture. I told you, don't mind the haters. I mean, it's not just that. I, I might also have a complex regarding something else. What complex? You both might dislike me for this. Why? I wish to do my best in the old-fashioned way, so to speak. Meaning? I... It seems more appropriate for me to follow the traditional route, as opposed to using shortcuts or things that are online. Oh, I get it. I realize this makes me sound snobbish. No, no, no. I, um... I feel like there's so much pressure towards people using social media these days and online. Like, right now I'm trying to get a book published. Again, trying is the, the, the key ingredient here. Succeeding, I, I don't know it's going to ha if that would happen and the rate things are going, it's less likely than more likely. But, if you don't do that online, like it's, it's, like it's become an industry that um, cannot exist without the internet. Like, there are few and far between people who only accept physical, uh, queries. So, like, the fact that she's even able to pursue routes in a traditional manner. I apologize. Who cares? Everybody is a snob in one way or another. But maybe you shouldn't limit yourself just like like that just yet. What do you mean? The entertainment industry changes rapidly, you know? For almost three years, I've been doing this. It takes a lot of flexibility to stay afloat. Because there's always someone who could replace you. Oh. Uh, I didn't- I don't know a lot about opera, but I'm sure it's changing too. Some things aren't always better the old way, especially in the creative industry. Things stay stagnant in two ways. Either they're profitable or certain people are just really stubborn. Like the past me. Hmm? Back then, I thought I could only choose one or two things I was good at. And just forget about the rest. But recently, I get a chance to make my own song with a musician. I'm not the best at composing, so I really need the help. I see. And the musician I'm collaborating with, he had a dream of becoming a fighter jet pilot. However, one thing or another kept him from making his dream come true. So he posted his music as a hobby on Tomachill, and just like that, BAM! He had it big! Oh. Yep, I'm a big fan of his. In fact, all of the music in the coffee shop is from his newest album. Licensed, of course. I see. That's amazing of him. You too! Don't be afraid to do things a little differently. Plenty roads to Rome on all that. Is that a, is that a saying? 
That's all I can say about it. Hmm. At any rate, I'll try asking around if they have any sort of leads. Should we exchange IDs? Do you have any? No, but I have a cell phone number. Huh. Okay. There. Thank you. Okay, Riona, I have to go now. I'll hit you up by text if I have anything. Thank you so much. Don't thank me yet. But you're so welcome. Barista, I'm going. See you soon? Of course. Please come again soon. Bye bye. You know, they had meowing noises for the previous cat, but they didn't use the same meow meowing noise for this cat. So interesting. This is my first time seeing a Nekomimi up close. Is that so? Oh, how about your car? Will you be able to all right? I have a spare tire. I will fix it once the weather improves. All right. Coming here was a wise decision. I wasn't sure whether I should. Oh? In truth, I'm deeply embarrassed by my conduct last time. I regret it. I apologize. Please, don't be sorry. No harm done. Thank you. It's just... There are times when I, too, feel lonely. Same. This was not my first rejection from an audition, as you may have already inferred. But... It never gets easier. Also same. Actually... Eh... Eh... It all depends on how much heart you put into it. Understandable. I, I, I don't think I've been putting quite as much heart into my queries. Typically, I would just ruminate about it in my car while being parked somewhere. I acknowledge it is not the most effective means of resolving my feelings. However, it is better than the alternatives. Which are none. Now you can always come here. I don't know. I feel as though I'm only bringing doom and gloom to the table here. Nonsense. Our door is always open. In the evenings, of course. So please, don't ever hesitate to stop by. We'll see. Sounds like the weather will clear up soon. What gave you that idea? A light, there, there's a lightning strike and then... Really? How do you know? A thank you, barista. Hmm. Experience? Let's just say I observe the sky a lot. Especially in traffic. Makes sense. I guess? In any case, I better leave now. Thank you again, barista. You're very welcome. Can I... Have a safe trip out there. Can I give her this? No, I can't. Okay. Good to know. It's not really giving me the option. I hope she comes by again. Okay, okay, oh, it's a bad idea. <laughs> Do it, jeez. All right, at least he's not getting tattoos on his legs. Let's see. Hmm? Whose key card is this? A key card attached to a lanyard. Hmm. I'll just keep it from now. Someone's apartment key, maybe? How many things do I have now? Okay, let's wrap this all up now, shall we? Alright, so next we're going to be leading into... Saturday, September 23rd, 2023.
Petition to combine Halloween and Christmas gains traction. Why? Tactical survival game Kriegs Front 4 Final Front set to release next year. But be sure to play King Kriegs Front 5 Terminal Front and its follow-up sequel Kriegs Front 4 Eternal Front. Belltown man caught after attempting to outrun police with a Segway. All right. Well, we'll find out why the barista is saying oh no next time. For now, got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.